What's up, everyone? Abstract Tiger Productions here. I am Chris. Drew. And we are back with a new episode of Ruby. Last time, though, on Ruby, what happened? Uh, not much. Well, a yeah, lot happened. Well, well, just, not much A little action. bit of this, a little bit of that. Yes. Uh, so, um, Dr. Ublek and, and uh, Team Ruby went to Quadrant 5 and started their mission... Uh, they came across some Beowulf Grimm, and basically, Dr. Ublick let the girls do all the fighting. <laughs> and when was asked yes. about it, he was like, eh, I am a very proficient huntsman, but I have learned that it's better to fight with my brain than with traditional weapons. Ah. And I'm sitting here like, nerd. <laughs> um, but, having said that, you know, he is an archaeologist. He uses his... Mom- knowledge that he gains mm-hmm. to uh, you know help the next generation as he as a teacher but right um we also had a lot of conversations between him well some conversations between him and the individual team members yeah, mainly Weiss, Blake, and Yang. yeah asking them why they're doing what they're doing yeah no, and, uh, you know why they are doing the how essentially yeah why are they are doing the how yeah um and then interestingly enough he doesn't ask ruby no. Why? She asks him. Yes. And his answer was very poignant, very direct, very to the point. Yeah. Um, he, that's the only thing he can see himself doing. Yeah. Uh, on a happier note, Ublek really likes Zwei. <laughs> so. <laughs> the only one who doesn't like Zwei is Blake. Is Blake at the moment. <laughs> but Blake did not react. I noticed no. that. Uh, Blake did not react in a negative manner no. when Zvi popped out of the backpack. <laughs> because last time it was up on the bookshelf. <laughs> this time it's... Huh? What? Oh, now there's, there's, there's a dog. There's a dog. Yes. But I have noticed that every time the dog starts walking around and they're not preoccupied with something else, they've intentionally put Blake on the other side of Yang every <laughs> time in the shot. <laughs> To create distance between yes, them. Yes. She doesn't like hide behind her or anything, no, but it's like, just like it's 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 dog, like Doctor Dog, U- dog. <laughs> Yeah. So it's like Zvi, uh, Doctor Ublick, Ruby, Weiss, Blake, Yank. <laughs> so like do 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 <laughs> this far apart from each other on the screen. And the TV's only this big. <laughs> so yeah, um, um, we also had uh, some more conversation about the different, you know, type of grim. Type of grim, I guess yep. you could say a little bit. Um, there are older grim that are not necessarily as mindless as they used to be. Uh, they are a little more patient and stuff like that. They don't just charge in like the Beowulf Zoo. Um, yeah. So. Um, and as of yet, they have yet to find any evidence of any sort of ne'er do wells, right? <laughs> per se. <laughs> one thing um, I for, uh, one thing I forgot to mention um, in our closeout on the last episode was uh, the little conversation with Sun and Neptune. Oh, okay. Uh, They're going to be working in the city and junior detectives. Junior detectives. With badges. And we're going to the city when you're not there because things <laughs> tend to go boom. <laughs> and so I yeah. put Sun and Neptune staying away, so no boom. <laughs> yeah. And, um, and Team Juniper, was well, Nora was a little bit more ups- vocal yeah. about being upset about being left behind, but... They're going outside the city as well. Different yeah, spot, different place, different hunter. Small village. Yeah, they're going uh, to uh, shadow a sheriff in a small village. Yeah. At least that's what Ren and Nora wanted to do. And I guess John and Piero are just going to tag along. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> okay. So, uh, yeah, Team Juniper is going to this small village, probably right outside yeah. the city, whereas they're in the southeast corner. Yeah, and then a um, a veil. failed attempt at making the city bigger. Yeah, essentially, uh, yep. got overran by Grimm and closed off yep. from the rest of the city. So, um, I think that is about, about it. Unless there's something else. Mm, okay. Nope, no, I have anything right. for notes. Okay. Um. All right. Let's get right in. I guess into the next episode. Let's see what kind of shenanigans we can get into. 
well, our uh, people's, uh, you know, Ruby character's going to get into. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm sure plenty. Yes. There's Grimm involved and there's a lie. So. Yeah. <laughs> Play. There it goes. Here. Interestingly enough, I noticed that they haven't really played Remnant since that, uh, I think the first episode of this volume. First or second. Mm. Oh, the, uh, the board game? Yeah. Well, I figured that, you know, they don't really are given that much time whilst on mission to play a board game. <laughs> uh. It just to add, for some reason, I was thinking of something Dr. Ublick would like to do in his downtime. <laughs> Ooh, you have Miss Dar uh, Ironwood. Yes.
<laughs> oh. Doggo goes where Doggo wants to go. Mm-hmm. Zwei to a Beowulf. <laughs> City under the city? City under the city. Punched a teenager. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's not Who's back? Roman. Yeah. 
Every veil that was never going to be pulled back is sort of coming into the thousands of people, pouring in people, coming into the city, the main city, and the relatives on the way to the inner city. We had this great population in danger, and that's what we said in the show. We said, I think we should just let them come and hold the line. Without the order of veil, the door of our board, and the name of the church. What did he say? I mean, we're not just looking for another ground to find that one. We're looking for another ground to find that one. <laughs> his thermos was his weapon this whole time. His thermos was his weapon the entire time. <laughs> uh. Oh, that's a cool picture of Torchwood. Torchwick. Not Torchwood. Torchwick. Someone's got Doctor Who on <laughs> yeah. the brain. Torchwood. Okay. Uh. Wow, that was a much shorter episode than the other one. Or the previous one, I should say. A little bit more discussion mm -hmm. about the why. Yep. From each of the three that were asked why. Yeah. Um, got a little bit more of motivation as the reason why Yang, uh, Blake and Weiss want to. Yeah. Weiss wants to basically repair the damage that her father has done to the Schnee name. Yep. Um, Blake just wants to do the right thing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just uh, wants to do the right thing. She for wants reason. She um, wants to gain the nobility and honor associated with a huntress because she knows that once she's outed as a faunus, people won't look at her the same. Mm -hmm. So she's hoping that the huntress part can counteract the faunus right. part. Uh, I, maybe to a certain degree, yes. But she's afraid that her one true destiny, because of her semblance, is to always run away. Right. Um, Running away from her destiny, run away right. from her I true self. I don't know if you have noticed yet in her, and whenever she fights, she does have that little after image thing. Yeah, I have. It was a little bit more prominent in last episode when they were fighting the Grim, especially when they were doing the whole Kurosawa Samurai. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but they also showed that in the um, Black trailer. Yes. They showed her semblance. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Um, let's see. We had... Uh, so I had to go potty? Well, relieve himself at least. Yes. Uh, <laughs> and one little thing about that. Obviously, Ublek was not completely asleep. He was yeah. actually listening. Mm -hmm. You know, he had that little smile there after the little conversation was over. Um, though Yang seems to just want to be um, uh, just kind of like adventure ho I guess yeah. you could say mm -hmm. and, I mean, you know, there's her thing is she just didn't want to have the same thing every single day it's yeah. being predictable I guess you could say um, so yeah and we also had a city under a city yeah the um, last an attempt. underground crime network is an underground crime, crime network. network yeah um, but, you know, this part of the city was like the last stand of the citizens of yeah. the city to try to make, or at least take more territory, but it failed. Right. And as Ublek said, it was like the largest tomb ever. Yeah. Kind of um, sad, if you think about it. And we got Roman Torchwick back. Yeah, Torchwick discovers that Ruby was captured. Well, that would be bad. Yes, that would be bad. And he spits bad. a cigarette out. 
or whatever well, it that was. It throws a cigar on the ground. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so and then Ublex Thermos is his weapon. Yes, I'm very intrigued to find out what his semblance is. <laughs> if his thermos is his weapon, I want to know what his semblance is. I assume it has something to do with his speed. Yes, because it's of definitely. The caffeine. Yeah, he has that speed. He knows no speed, but nothing between off and 100. percent Yeah. <laughs> um. So, yeah, obviously, Ruby hasn't really worked on her hand-to-hand combat skills. Yeah. <laughs> little baby but punch. But yet, that guy just up and up punched a 15-year-old in the face. Yeah, well, <laughs> she hit him first. True, but still. Well, they're unscrupulous bad guys, so, you know, that's what they're supposed to do, I guess. Yeah, they're, they're, they're not, uh, uh, this isn't the DC universe, they're not part of the Goonion. Um. What? It's the Union of Henchmen, um, that provides medical care oh. after superheroes beat them up. Okay. Uh, it's nicknamed the Goonion, but I believe it's the, uh, 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 supervillains, uh, something something insurance network, I don't know. <laughs> Okay. But, um, yeah, so basically, um, they're like, not just standard henchmen. Sounds like something you'd get from Harley, the, the Harley Quinn animated show. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. The first time I heard it was actually on a TikTok. Huh. But um, this guy talks about, like, uh, the individual I'm talking about. He goes through, like, um, obscure comic book history. Oh, okay. Yeah. Kind of things. And he was talking about the Goonian, and he acts out skits <laughs> from comic book stories. <laughs> Um. All right. Well. Um. Don't really have much else. Um. Yeah. I, I would not say it's self-contained, but it was definitely short. Yes, it was definitely sh- felt sh- much shorter than the other. Um. It was kind of goofy having Ruby hold Zwy up around the corner. Yeah, as I got the periscope or whatever. <laughs> one bark for yes. yes. One bark for yes. I have Zwy can understand instructions, but you know, like he, any he's, wonderful he's, child, he has selective hearing. <laughs> yes. So, all right. Well, that's another one in the uh, book. So in to the speak. books. All right. Wow. Okay. Uh, so to speak. Short review for a short episode. So, um... They, 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 what what else are we supposed to talk about? I know. Okay, did you notice that the animators put just a little bit more shading under Yang's chin in this episode? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's not the part of our anatomy where I thought you were going, but okay. Whoa! <laughs> this is... This, this is, is a family-friendly show, sir! But this is one of the one episodes that it talk it, that gets talked about when referring to her. <laughs> Why? Oh, never mind then. Forget it. Fair enough. <laughs> Anyways, so um, ha- having that out there now, <laughs> um, yeah, we're uh, just gonna end that right now. <laughs> so um, uh, be sure to like and subscribe before you leave. It helps us out a little bit. More than doing nothing. <laughs> yeah. So uh, thank you for those of you who have subscribed and liked and done the bell dingy thingy. Um, also, Patreon is a thing down in the uh, comments below. You can check that out there. Um, we don't have a dog conversation up yet, but we do have a pizza conversation there. <laughs> uh, bye-bye and be blessed, everyone.